Hello nurses, this is Camp with Nursing Camp, and today I'm going to talk to you about hemodynamic parameters of my cardiac health assessment and cardiac camp. I'm going to talk specifically about this hemodynamic overview, and what we're going to talk about is the NCLEX and right-sided heart failure problems. And right-sided heart failure problems, when we're talking about more specifically JVD and CVP. And let's get going. So when we're talking about CVP, and what CVP it means is central venous pressures. What I like to call C the volume peripherally. And what I mean by that is when you're looking at the body, and this guy's got a big toe and everything like that, you're looking at the vessels. You're looking outside the body, the preload. Everything that's outside, not the heart. More specifically, what's on this peripheral, CVP. And generally, CVP measurements are anywhere from 0 to 8. Now, what I teach in class is generally 4 to 8. And the reason I teach 4 to 8 is we're talking about the NCLEX. And when we're talking about the NCLEX, we're talking specifically about um, when there's a problem. And when there's a problem in the NCLEX, generally with CVP readings, it's about volume. It's about what's going on in the volume. Are they filled or are they empty? Okay, so how this works is, is that if they're filled, they're closer to 8. If they're empty, they're closer to 4. So generally what you'll see in NCLEX questions and study questions is, is that CVPs are too or one. NCLEX is not going to get that specific, but more important is that CVP is acute because they have a catheter inside. It's usually a triple lumen and it's in the superior vena cava and what happens is, is that measurement is a hemodynamic measurement. So it requires a, a triple lumen catheter to do so and that ranges anywhere from four to eight. Now, if you see a CVP that's less than 4, and that CVP means that that patient is dry. And that means that they need fluid. Okay, And if, they're, if it's greater than 8, that means that they're overfilled. There's too much fluid, and they probably need Lasix. Okay. So to recapture, CVP in questions are about fluid, and whether they're dry or they're wet. Now, what if you don't have hemodynamics? There's no hemodynamics here. And what happens is, is that when there's no hemodynamics, we need to wonder how are we going to measure this, um, this, uh, sorry, I'm trying to mess with my colors here. How are we going to measure this uh, fluid status? Well, that's where JVD comes in, jugular vein distension. Okay, jugular vein distension is very important because that's on the person's body. This is the person's body, and they're sitting there in their JVD. And what they're measuring is that should be less than 4 cm's. And that's when you get the protractor out and you measure the angle and stuff like that. But if you see JVD in any kind of question, patient has jugular vein distension, that's acute. That patient is fluid overload. Okay, they're either fluid overload or there's something wrong with the heart. More importantly, like cardiac tamponade. So JVD is part of cardiac tamponade. It's also saying that there's excess fluid in the heart. And if it's greater than um, 4 cm's, that's too much. Okay, less than 4 is okay. So let's talk about that really quick. How do you check for JVD? Well, you need to put them in the... Uh, the semi follows position, and you basically uh, might push on the abdomen slightly to see if there's an illicit response. But it, usually in NCLEX questions, um, they don't get into that process. They just give you, oh, the patient has jugular vein distension. Well, that's acute, and that patient needs um, intervention. Lasix, fluid adjustment, and that fluid needs to be taken off. Um, or that patient is, has cardiac tamponade and there's a problem. There are some other conditions, but those are the main priority ones. So some recap here. You have two, two measures for mainly right-sided um, problems in the heart for hemodynamics. One is CVP. 
see the volume peripherally, and that is from a central venous catheter that is sitting in the uh, superior vena cava. And that is going to give you a measurement of anywhere from 4 to 8. Greater than 8 is too wet, and less than 4 is too dry. Either a question about whether you give fluids or you um, don't give fluids or you give diuretics. Next one is JVD, and JVD is a response to um, you don't have a CVP, so you know you don't have it, so it's bad, you know, and so you have to use your basic assessment because NCLEX is going to test you. You might not be in the latest greatest where you could put it in a triple lumen and you can do all this stuff. You might be working in the field somewhere and back back woods wherever and you know Arkansas nothing wrong with the Arkansonians but what could happen is is that you know you don't have to have those hemodynamic uh, uh, measurements but you do have nursing assessment and that's what JVD is JVD is specifically that there's too much fluid on board and if it's greater than four cm's that means that that's a problem and that's acute so that's my right-sided hemodynamics that's from my uh, hemodynamics um, sheet which covers uh, right-sided versus left-sided in my next video I'll be talking about left-sided specific hemodynamics thank you you can see me on nursingcamp.com nurse on